Hi guys, welcome to K-Medicine. We are going to discuss benign breast diseases separately from now on. Today we will study mastalgia. But before starting it, I would highly suggest that you watch my video on aberration of normal development and involution or anti concept of benign breast diseases so that you can understand the basics of all benign breast diseases. Okay so, mastalgia is the most common presenting complaint of women coming to breast clinics. It is of two types, cyclical, non-cyclical. Cyclical mastalgia peaks in the post-ovulatory phase, starts from the 14th day or the day of ovulation and increases in intensity up to the 28th day or the day of menstruation and regresses after that. It is mostly bilateral. In most cases, it is normal. But if the severity increases, evidenced by pain chart or by an increase in duration, hampering daily life, we call it cyclical pronounced nostalgia. Patient usually describes the pain as heaviness and tender to touch. Here, you can see how cyclical pain can radiate towards your arms or axilla. Nodularity is often associated with it, especially in the upper outer quadrant. Non-cyclical mastalgia is not associated with menstruation and can present at any time. It is a well-localized pain. A trigger point is described for it. It can be unilateral or bilateral, mostly subarolar or in the upper outer quadrant. There can be a number of different causes of it, like an abscess, ductectasia, periductal mastitis or trauma or even cancer. But the incidence of cancer is low. Nodularity may not be associated with it. False breast pain must be ruled out. Like, in postmenopausal women, Tightsy syndrome may be the cause, in which there is costochondral pain, along with pain in the lateral chest wall along anterior axillary plane and serratus anterior is present. On examination, you can find two or three tender costochondral joints, as you can see here in this picture. Other causes are, biliary colic, or epigastric pain due to GERD or myocardial infarction. Different etiologies have been proposed. These include water and fat retention in the post-ovulatory phase, endocrine abnormalities like hyperestrogenism or hyperprolactinemia, that is why anti-estrogen therapy is useful. Then, diet deficient in essential fatty acids may lead to mastalgia so we also treat it with giving it exogenously. So the management starts with triple assessment. Take a complete history and examine the patient. Then do the imaging. If there is underlying pathology, obviously you will treat it, but if the examination and imaging is unremarkable, then your treatment and management plan will be like this. First line treatment is reassurance of the patient. Only 5% of cancers are associated with nostalgia, so reassure your patient that it is not cancerous and it does not predispose her to developing cancer in future. Tight brasseries are recommended to the women. If they feel that nostalgia is discomforting, Give them the visual analog scale for pain assessment for a month. This will be useful in assessing the pain and the treatment. Here, I will show you the old pain chart by Cardiff Breast Center. And this is the visual analog scale, in which a woman marks the severity of pain on the scale of 10. This has been added by Indian Journal of Surgery. So, as you can well appreciate, it helps in better assessment of pain. Other options are. Flax seed 30 mg daily as they are a rich source of omega-3 fatty acid or evening primrose oil that has gamma-linolic acid. Patient may encounter headache or loose stools with it. Topical non-steroidal anti-inflammatory creams like diclofenac or pyrexicum may also be useful in cause of local inflammation. Most patients do get better with reassurance and the previously mentioned treatment, but some do require medication. If the pain score is more than 3, you may consider giving medication. If the patient has hyperestrogenism, you consider giving anti-estrogen therapy or androgens or LHRH agonists. These are tamoxifene, which is anti-estrogenic for breast. Dose is usually 10 mg for 3 to 6 months. There are certain side effects too, which include hot flashes, menstrual irregularity and rarely deep venous thrombosis. Ormoloxifene may also be used for 3 to 4 months in a dose of 30 mg twice a week. Danazole is androgen. Its dose is usually 100 mg twice a day for 3 to 6 months. Its side effects include amenorrhea, weight gain and menstrual irregularities. Luteinizing hormone releasing hormone may be used in a shorter duration for a pain that is unresponsive to other treatments. 
Recent studies have found that HRT and oral contraceptives may also be related to nostalgia. If that is the case, try advising non-hormonal contraceptives and stop HRT or convert to progesterone-only therapy, if possible. That was all about nostalgia. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.